Verbs have traditionally been defined as action words or doing words. The verb in the following sentence is ride. John rides a bicycle. There are many verbs which do not denote an action at all. John seems unhappy. We will hardly say that John is performing any action when he seems unhappy. Is a change in the form of a word to express a grammatical function or attribute such as tense, mood, person, number, case. Verbal inflections are all the ways a verb can be changed by morphing or affix. Past. To convert a regular verb into the past form, we just have to add the suffix ed, like walk, learned, played, cleaned, painted. With irregular verbs, the simple past and past participle can end in a variety of ways, like sang, sung, become, became. Person. In the singular form, with first person we use I, with second person you, and with the third person we can use he, she, or it. With the plural form, the first person is we, the second person you, and the third person they. Examples. In the sentence, she travels to work by train, we have a third person singular pronoun, she, and the present tense ending s. However, if we replace she with a plural pronoun, then the verb will change. We have the form of the ing. This describes an action in the present participle, like calling, running, dancing, singing. 1. Verbs ending with e, with the exception of verbs ending in double e and ie, drop the e and add ing. Rule number two, verbs ending with a double E, just add the I in Rule number e. three, verbs ending with a IE, change the IE to the Y and add ING.